All right, what's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book is entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father at Amazon Kindle and Create Space. A link will be in the description box below, as usual. This video right here is entitled They're Not the Suspect Until It's Too Late. They're Not the Suspects Until It's Too Late. Um, because of these school shootings, America is all of a sudden in their feelings. And well, that's okay. But, you know, these two of these next three videos I'm about to do got to address some things. Uh, first and foremost, I have a problem with these school shootings. And my problem with these school shootings is very, very simple. These shooters at schools, malls, movie theaters, when they get fired from the job and go crazy, like these just people just who 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 go off like this. They never considered suspects. Never. They're, nobody's ever suspicious of their behavior. And what I mean by that is, and this and this this goes back a ways with America. You know, I'm gonna go. Uh, maybe 10, 15 years right now. Because you guys keep saying these are mental issues and lone wolves and isolated incidents because you refuse to profile people who aren't black. So let's be real about it. Like, if a kid, if, if people warn you, and they warn the FBI, and the FBI can look at a person's Facebook page and see they're making threats and they got guns, and nobody just steps in. Uh, why? Because of this this classic news line that would that always happens. He was an all-American boy. He's always an all-American boy, ain't he? All these murderers. And killers and people who lose their mind are always all... They, we never knew because they were all American boys. Why? All American boy is starting to be synonymous with a, with a, with a mass murderer. Just saying. So what, I, what do I mean by these people aren't suspects? Okay. People like Timothy McVeigh wasn't considered a suspect. Like, it, nothing was wrong with him buying enough fertilizer... And, 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 and bomb materials to blow up a building Because why? It didn't draw a red flag Because it was a white guy buying all this stuff I mean, him What does he need all this stuff for? Does he, does he have a farm? I mean, is, is, is he, what is he doing with all this stuff? Ah, it's a white guy He must be doing something productive Because he's not a suspect Right? Never considered a suspect When 9-11 happened All of a sudden Y'all knew all these Saudis were, were huh, they have problems with America. If a guy goes to a um, a flight school and tells people he don't need to know how to land, that should be suspicious. But because at the time, you know, they they, they were they were never looked at as you know suspicious because. They just, they didn't fit the description of suspicion until the, until the buildings f fell down and now all of a sudden people looking at people from the Middle East with a side eye. But their actions never made them suspects, you know. But if Timothy McVeigh was a black dude buying all that bomb material, of course he'd have been checked out. If the, f the guys from 9-11 from were at the flight school and <laughs> there's a bunch of brothers that we don't even know how to land planes, that would have been a red flag. You know, uh, I forgot the guy's name. I did a video about him recently, not recently, maybe a couple years back. He was a he was a heavy drug dealer, but it was a white dude. He was buying Lamborghinis, you know, going to parties, million dollar champagne parties. They got him in a picture with Leonardo DiCaprio, and nobody questions how he got his money because all of a sudden he's just running around with money. But he was a major drug dealer. But nobody paid attention to him being a drug dealer because he didn't fit the description of a suspect. Because he was a white dude. 
Who know who knew that white dudes deal mass quantities of drugs? They're able to go through Canada to New York and South America and Central America, no problems. Because what? They never looked at as suspects till it's too late, right? Um who was the guy that was killing chicks in the Caribbean? You know, uh, he, ki- he killed the white chick, and then he went to Honduras or something, and then killed the Honduras chick. You know, <laughs> all of a sudden, he was an all-American guy. We didn't, we didn't, we thought the people in that country uh, were, were, were crazy. But we, we did not suspect the white guy. And, and by the way, these white guys have a, have a reputation of going into other people's countries and, like, abusing the people and raping women and brutalizing women and, you know, getting in fights and stuff like that to the point where Americans can't go to certain countries without getting into fights because they have bad reputations with the locals. But these guys are never considered suspects till it's too late, right? I think there was a sister who just got thrown off of a of a carnival cruise with her with her white husband. They were arguing in front of everybody on the cruise, and the next thing you know, she, she winds up in the ocean. Ain't the first time you heard a story like that, though, is it? But uh, white guy, he's not a suspect. You know, you know, with with, with the guy who shot up Georgia Tech, came out of nowhere. He's just in. Who knew? I mean, he just came out here and just, just unloaded clips and nobody saw it coming. Really? Why don't y'all see this stuff coming? Why? Why don't y'all see this stuff coming? Like, what is it about that, 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 that makes you so comfortable that your spidey sense never ting- if it, If it ain't a black person, your spidey sense don't tingle. What is it? I mean... <clears throat> Who's the most comfortable with carrying guns in public in this country? I'm just asking. I mean, who goes around this country walking around the street with assault rifles on their backs? Because it's my right. Who have who had rallies with guns just because we can, you know, do that? Who's walking into Targets and, 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 and Chick-fil-A's and... Home depots with guns while families is walking around just cause to exercise their right. No, no rhyme or reason just to exercise their right to carry guns. But these people are never looked at as suspects. Like the the, the hoist claw cop raping women back to back to back to back to back to back. That's all he was doing on the clock, raping women. But he's a cop. A lot of them women was the women was black. They unbelieve can't be believed because they black. You know the, the charges mount up, but these people can never be suspects. The, the dirty cop that shot himself in the leg in Illinois and said it was what, what, two white dudes and a black dude came and he got in a shootout and come to find out he shot himself. I mean, you don't, <laughs> but you can't see these people as suspects. You can't see that that they're they're Issues you could use George Zimmerman for an example. He, he he's Georgie Georgie He got in a fight with a cop, right? He got accused of raping his his family member, right? Hmm After the Trayvon Martin trial He beat up multiple girlfriends and one of them's dad, right? Got in a shootout with a guy on the freeway and the, and the dude that, that he got in a shootout with wound up going to jail because he tried to kill a dude prior to that, right? Huh. But I don't know. Like these people aren't suspects. All these, you know, y'all know what a drug dealer looks like until it comes to heroin and opioids. Y'all don't know what drug dealers look like because you know, y'all don't know what a pill mill looks like because these people aren't suspects till it's too late, right? If you want to point at all the bad guys, you know. Look at me. I the bad guy. I the bad guy. You don't know, man. 
But all of a sudden, y'all don't know what's up. You know, and even with the with, with this with this, because it was another kid after the cruise kid. Which we, well, I said it before. I said it. It's like there's gonna be somebody else shooting, you know, because these guys ain't suspects. And I, I can tell you one easy thing about these these guys with who shoot up places in particular that lets me know that they never looked at as suspects. They're walking in on public property, walking out in public with trench coats, body armor. Fatigue, you know, camouflage gear and assault weapons. Walking to schools week after week after week, you know, with tactical gear. And y'all just see him walking up. Billy's coming up here with an AR-15. Hmm. It's regular old Wednesday. Because people who do that don't aren't looked at as suspects. And that's y'all problem, you know. That's why a lot of stuff that's going to happen to, to all y'all communities, y'all aren't prepared for because y'all don't look at each other as with, with the criminals that y'all are. Y'all can't spot a criminal. That's why it's always black on black crime. There's no such thing as white on white crime or Asian on Asian crime or Hispanic on Hispanic crime, you know, Arab on Arab crime because y'all don't, like, you know, even um, the Arab guy that, that, that shot up the, 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 the army base, you know, and never looked at as suspects. You don't profile these people like that, right? You know, because they're all lone wolves. They all have mental issues. How can they all be lone wolves and all have mental issues? Remember the biker gang that got into the fight? <laughs> you know, and it took the people. The, the people didn't think about it like, wow. There's two two opposing biker gangs here is kind of getting kind of thick in here but you know what I'm gonna sit here with my wife and kids and we're gonna eat these wings really why because even when you are wearing the uniform of a criminal and a thug if you ain't black you ain't looked at as one and that's ridiculous but y'all gonna pay for that us y'all gonna pay for that we out